We need to talk. There is nothing to say. I'm asking you again. But we've been through all this. I've tried to live with it, but I can't. All I can think of is anything happened to ruin that kid's life. I'd never be able to... I would never harm him. I know that, not intentionally anyway. What do I have to do to try and convince you? But do you want a helpline number? They'd be happy to tell you the facts. Talk to you about your fears. I'm not scared. I'm just being cautious. I mean, imagine that you haven't got it. I mean, do people like you get tested regularly? People like me? I mean, you're not sure, are you? I am sure. Not 100% sure. Who is, Grant? I know more about the facts than most people. I'm probably less likely to catch it than you. But you're still not sure. Even if I was HIV positive, there'd be no harm to Ben. You hold him. You feed him. You can't catch like that. Ben is in no danger. So what I'm saying is why take the risk? Oh, you're not listening. You're not even being rational about this. If you give this up, or it's going to have to come out about Mark. You wouldn't. You're leaving me no choice. Grant. It's not the way I want it. You couldn't do this. Not now. I mean, Mark's just lost his dad. He's not even buried him yet. You could do that to him. To Pauline. At a time like this. To die. Did I offer that? Of course. Mark's not ashamed. But he never told Cathy. He'll tell the rest of the family when the time comes. When they need to know. Well, I think Cathy's got a right to know. So you've got until the funeral. If you tell Cathy you can't carry on looking after Ben, well, she's going to hear that Mark's HIV positive. Along with everybody else around here.